Thank you, please ask your question. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, last time I saw your video about the compressor safeties and there I uh, read about the unloader. But in Dreamer package, there was uh, uh, unloader was not mentioned in that package. So can you please tell me the function of unloader? Function of unloader, okay. From the starting, you meant to say. Yes. Okay. We'll do, we'll do. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, any similar questions regarding this? Okay, I'll just explain first and then you can prepare your related questions here. So when we talk about unloader, as the name suggests, unloader. It unloads something. So what does it unload? It unloads the motor. Why do we need to unload the motor? And why the motor gets unloaded, first of all? See, uh, this. let's say this is the compressor. It's a compressor. What is a compressor? A compressor is nothing but a pump. It pumps air, so it's an air pump. What kind of pump is this? We have studied centrifugal pump, positive displacement pump. Which one is this? Is it centrifugal or is it positive displacement? The centrifugal the positive displacement. displacement. It's a positive displacement because it is a because the design is. It's not. So it's a there will be pistons inside, right? So it's a positive displacement. Though the air is compressible, so with some limitation, it can still pump the air to a high degree of uh, pressure, right? So now, what kind of displacement it does means what kind of pump positive displacement it is? Is it screw? Is it gear? Is it reciprocating? What kind of is, is this? Reciprocating. Reciprocating. So if you understand about the working of reciprocating pump, there will be piston inside, which will be moving up and down and pumping the, yeah. It's a positive, uh, they create really high pressure. Right? Now they'll take suction from air and deliver it to bottle. Bottle is already at high pressure, let's say 25 bar. So, the moment you start the motor, you're giving some electrical energy. The moment you start, it starts to deliver with 25 bar. So even though the motor has not picked up RPM, you are trying to load the motor necessarily. Because the load will be sudden, it will be sudden load on the motor. Right? The load will be suddenly applied. This is not like centrifugal pump. Because in centrifugal pump, the pressure de of delivery will depend upon RPM, right? So, and plus it's a centrifugal one, it's not a positive displacement. So the load on the system is actually reverse uh, in, in a sense that if there is the delivery valve is shut, pressure is really high, but the load is less. So this is opposite actually. So in centrifugal system, when the pressure is high, the current drawn by the motor or the load on the motor will be less, right? Because the flow is less. This is, in this case, if it is actually, there will be sudden loading because if, uh, if you close the delivery well, then again, the pressure is rising very fast. So all in all, what I'm trying to say here is, Unlike centrifugal pump, here there will be sudden load. Load on the motor and load also on the bearings. It will have bearings inside. It will be have crankshaft, crank pin bearing, right? It main bearing. You know the construction of the compressor, right? There is a crank pin bearing, main bearing, 
and uh, top end bearing bearings they will be suddenly loaded but do you have loop oil pressure during starting the moment you start because loop oil pump is also attached here it is attached to this same shaft and if the rpm a motor is just started there is no hardly any rpm in the pump loop oil pump so if the loop oil pump does not have any rpm the pressure is zero so there is hardly any loop oil pressure for the bearings so what you are doing you are suddenly loading the bearings you are suddenly loading the motor and this is this is bad this is damaging for compressor as well as motor so what do you do during starting of the compressor you do not want to load the compressor meaning you don't do, you are not delivering to the bottle instead you deliver to the drain whatever you are pumping you pump pump out to the drain actually so what do you do you pump everything to the drain drain line is opened actually so the air instead of going to the bottle it will go to the drain line so it is taking suction from air and it is delivering to air only taking engine room basically suction from engine room deliver to the engine room the pressure on the pressure or generated will be almost zero right no pressure generated no load on the motor no load on the bearings so you are giving some time for it to pick up rpm so once the rpm is picked up motor is ready for loading condition also when rpm is picked up the loop oil pressure is also enough the bearing also ready for the loading condition so the moment the situation is conducive it's appropriate situation you can load the compressor now so that's why the unloader is used however you give some extra time for in the unloaded condition why because from previous running there could be some water accumulation in the intercooler after cooler so the loading actually happens from the after in intercoolers if you see the uh, structure here suppose this is stage 1 and this is intercooler then there is a stage 2 then again after cooler so i'll make it nicely this is first stage this is second stage this is intercooler this is after cooler okay so air will go first to first stage first stage then intercooler then after cooler sorry second stage after cooler then goes to the air bottle so what they do here is they take a tapping here so they will take tapping here they'll take tapping here they give it to unloader so what unloader does is unloader suppose this is the unloader here there will be one electrical solenoid valve here yeah it is operating this so what happens is i'm not drawing complete all the parts here but yes this is the intercooler this is after cooler this is first stage this is second stage now what happens is that this solenoid valve is supplied by the electrical cable so this electrical cable is going going from control panel so when the compressor is just started at that time this is naturally there will be spring inside it will be naturally unloaded means it is open naturally open so when the compressor is started 
no signal goes to this wire okay after some time what will happen is let's say that you start the compressor after 10 seconds electrical signal will go here it will uh, give command to the solenoid what does it do it will there will be inside there will be spools okay? pistons and all like that so those will be moved those will be moved to close position so no more unloading from intercooler and after cooler and once the passage is blocked from here air will be delivered to the bottom earlier the air was all going to the drain line so that is the uh, purpose of this unloader here so unloader is doing two function it is helping in fact three functions it is helping the motor to pick up rpm before it get loaded otherwise unnecessary load on the come on the motor and uh, motor can also stall means rpm is not there so when rpm of the motor is not there torque is not enough and motor can continue to receive very high current so then in starting current of the motor is very high and if you do not let the rpm grow the current remains high and the winding will burn second is the bearings of the the, the bearings in the compre compressor side will also give we give enough time for the lubal pressure to develop and then only will load the bearings third is if there is any accumulation of the liquid from the previous running any any liquid is still remaining here that will also go down the drain otherwise this will liquid go to the second stage and can damage the second stage so that's the three reason why we have unloader unloading can is definitely happening in the starting and also in the stopping while stoppage you want the all the water that is collected also, also you want to drain that water so during stopping also it is unloaded and in between also this actually unloads for some time okay so in so during running let's say that it is running for 20 minutes maybe after 5 10 minutes it will unload in between for some seconds some designs also have that feature so starting stopping and in 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 between also who controls this solenoid operation is there is a timer inside inside the control panel who is actually calculating the time for how much time in the starting stopping i need to count and then only it gives signal to the solenoid yeah. all right any other question here for this part yes sir uh, so unloader is a type of valve unloader is just a valve right, yeah it's a spool and valve the, actually yeah, it's a valve drainage, drainage of the uh, condensate or the water accumulated in the intercooler and the after cooler are also get drained from the unloader yes see there are uh, it depends on design to design in right, certain sir. design there is a separate uh, there is a separate uh, auto drain system there so there is a float here when the what accumulation of the liquid is high float will lift and it will drain only the liquid it's a drain trap okay so drain trap is there basically it will only allow the liquid to pass not allow the air to go so that feature is also there which of which is also automatically draining the outlet auto drain is what we call that on top of it even the unloader helps you to drain some ships we don't have auto drain only unloader is there it all depends but auto drain is also most they have seen it will do the same or it will also keep draining the liquid because if you are going in a humid areas like singapore like any near equators there is the humidity of air is very high so the condensate generated in the coolers are very high that you cannot wait for the unloader to open and the liquid generation can be high so in that case auto drain will function so is that unloader helps helps to remove the moisture present in the system sir which system Say air only compressor, sir. 
Yeah, that's what I told. The third function of the unloader is to if, remove any uh, condensate. Okay. Condensate. You will call that a condensate so because if, it's now in liquid form. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, uh, is so it... If, Sorry. Okay. Sir, is it also do not, do not, do, sorry do not call this as a moisture because moisture is there in the air it is in the vapor form only when it becomes liquid this is condensate job is to remove the condensate it is the job of the unloader is not to make the air drier it's it's the job is to whatever has been come out of the air to drain it out okay, okay. it's one of the job the main job is however not this Main job is to unload the motor in the bearings. 